Precious cargo arrived at Gillespie Field just a couple of hours ago. 100 beagles who were rescued from an animal testing and breeding facility in Virginia. Well, they're now safe in San Diego. Uh, CBS 8's Kelly Hassadal is live from the San Diego Humane Society's El Cajon campus where they welcomed those pups. Look Kelly. at who you have. Aww. My goodness. I know. So all the beagles are named after beetles. So I named him myself. This is Ringo. <laughs> but I am in uh, beagle heaven right now. You know, the beagles are out here playing. They got off of a very long flight, uh, stretched their legs, got something to eat. And now it's playtime. So they're just so sweet, so loving. We do have a look at their landing at Gillespie Field. If you want to roll that video, uh, they had a layover in Texas and then arrived in San Diego around 1:45 this afternoon. Now they were carefully unloaded one by one. This was a greater goods charity flight and thank goodness they were able to get on a plane uh, because driving all the way from the East Coast uh, would have been just too stressful. The dogs have already been through so much. So from the airport, all 108 beagles uh, were brought here to the San Diego Humane Society's El Cajon campus. They're getting their medical checks. Uh, the vets here are making sure they're healthy. Then half will remain here. The rest are going to foster homes or to other shelters like Rancho Coastal Humane Society and Paws of Coronado. So such a big effort to make this all happen, but it's certainly so worth it. This is the best feeling in the world to actually be able to get these dogs into environments that they can actually be dogs. Up till now, they've been dogs by genetics only. They've never had the experience of playing on the grass, touching the grass, fetching a ball, fetching a Frisbee, having love of a family. This is a new beginning for them. And the San Diego Humane Society has had a lot of interest in these beagles. People hear their story and they just want to get involved. They just want to help. And it's so mm, easy to see why. And I should point out that um, if you don't get a chance to adopt one of these beagles this time around, there has been a lot of interest in them. Uh, the San Diego Humane Society thinks they'll be getting uh, another group coming in at a later date. Jesse and Heather. All right, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have a baby at home, so bringing home a dog. I, I think you probably want to chat right. with your husband first. But for those who want to adopt <laughs> one of these beagles, uh, do we know when they'll be placed up for adoption? So they're hoping that as early as next week they'll be able to be adopted or at least some of them will be up for adoption. You know, it kind of just depends on how all their medical evaluations work out. Uh, you know, they'll be watching them to make sure that they're comfortable around people, which it certainly seems, seems like, like they, they are. are. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but if you would like more information, just go to CBSA.com and click on this story. Aww. Say bye, Ringo. Kelly has it all allegedly at work today, but really petting puppies <laughs> and getting the worst assignment of the day, of course. Right. Looks like Ringo's ready to go run right. and play. Kelly, Aww. thank you.